Here's the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create in this Fireworks CS4 graphics design workflow tutorial. Hello everybody, Adam of Develop PHP here. And I'm in the requested tutorial section at the site and my homie Asgard writes, can you please show how to create this line in Fireworks, I think yes? And he gives a link to a YouTube video of mine and I went to it and I checked it out and this is the line he's talking about. This graphics, or these graphics which I created in Fireworks and that's what this video will be all about. Okay Asgard, let's open up Fireworks CS4 and click Create New Fireworks Document PNG here. I'm gonna make mine a thousand by five hundred and if you were making a desktop background wallpaper for yourself for your computer, you just make it the size of your screen resolution your canvas size and then output that file. Alright, I'm going to make the canvas black and let's go ahead and grab the pen tool. Now we have no line and no fill. we got to change that. Make sure we have a white line here or whatever color you want to draw with. You can also have it set to fill, but I'm not going to set the fill just yet. I'm going to set the fill after I complete my shape. Alright, with our pen tool selected, we'll go to the spot on the canvas where we want to start. Right about there. Click down and let go the next point you go to with the pen tool you're going to click down hold and drag it'll let you manipulate the contour or the arc of your shape you get the desired arc you like and then you just go to the next point after you let go you go to the next point just go right about there click and hold and then let's give it a little bit of manipulation here on this arc you see I'm just holding it down and I can manipulate it any way I want and it doesn't stick until I let go. So I'm going to go right about here and then I'm going to come around here click hold drag a little bit and then right about there. Now instead of making another point I'm going to select or go put my mouse right on top of that last point and you'll see a little arrow appears that little arrow will appear and it'll let you know that you click that same point to merge them and now you can make a sharp taper going the other direction and close up the object see I can close up the object right here if I wanted but I don't want to do that I'm gonna go around here and manipulate this taper now on the way back we're gonna try our best to follow these contours nice and smooth but taper it so make it bigger as we go so let's start off nice and sharp at the edge there then come around, click and hold, shape it to where it looks like a nice contour. Let's go right about here, hold down, and then click. You close up your shape. Now once your shape is closed, you can give it a fill. Let's give it a fill of white. Okay, now let's take our main shape and move it out of the way a little bit. We're going to create a drop shape. So let's grab the pen tool again, click down, and just hold and drag right about here, right about there, and bring that contour in just a little bit, right about there, and then come around here, and make that a little more rounded at the bottom, click down, click down, grab the sub selection tool, make this point on the bottom, grab just that point and make it all straight because now what we're going to do is take this control C, control V, flip it horizontally the copy we just made by pressing control C, control V once we have a copy there we can merge the two highlight both of them go to modify, combine paths, and union and there's your drop shape a shape of a drop. But you can make these shapes any size you need to once you get them made. Let's go to the scale tool with that selected. Let's scale that down just a little bit. And a little bit more. Now we're just going to make a series of drops following this one that get smaller as they go. Control C, Control V, drag the new one down, scale tool, make it a little bit smaller so they graduate in size. 
Now for the drippies on the tail end, let's just grab the smallest one, control C, control V, and let's skew it to where the point is coming off of this end, right there, and kind of match it up. And press control C, control V, move this one over, scale it down. You can even zoom in by pressing control and mouse wheel. That one's a little bit too small, so let's use that for the further one. Control C, Control V, scale it down. There we go. That's better. So we'll have three drops on each end. Well, before we add effects to these shapes, let's go ahead and put in the text. The text is going to say Creative Flow. And the font that I used was Creative or Art Brush, I think. It's called Art Brush. Yeah, that's it. Bold. Make it white. Let's bring up the size. And maybe center it. There we go. That looks good right there. Let's bring it up maybe a little bit bigger. That's good. Creative flow. Beautiful. Now, we put effects on it. Let's grab pretty much everything. We'll see how it looks. We'll just do everything on stage. And go to the filters, bevel and emboss, inner bevel. Now you want to take that inner bevel and give it smooth all the way up on that slider, all the way up on that slider and all the way up on that slider. Now you can mess with the angles if you like. Okay, I like it so far. And with the bevels, it all looks pretty nice. Let's see, let's make this one, let's highlight this one and let's manipulate its inner bevel first. And let's make it to where it's not so faded. Make it stand out a little more, the bevel. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so now at this point we can just grab everything, press control A, and give it another filter of glow. And you can have it glow any color you want. There's the red glow, and I think the glow color I had was this one. And you can see how there's kind of ribs in that, and you want to make sure that's all the way smooth. Let's go back to the inner bevel. Oh, I see. Mine was set to 5. It should have been on 10. So there you have it, Asgard. That's pretty much how I did it. Hope you get some helpful tips out of that workflow.